They've made us laugh, they've made us cry, they've made us swoon, and they've given us the high expectations that we still hold our significant others to. Amy, I love you. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 romance movies of the 1940s to 1960s. For this list, we'll be looking at films that fit squarely in the romance genre. So romantic dramas and comedies are okay. Romance must be the driving plot of the film. So movies that are first and foremost thrillers, biopics, comedies, or action flicks with romantic side plots will not be considered. Oh yes, oh, you shied them at me. Number 10, My Fair Lady. The difference between a lady and a flower girl is not how she behaves, but how she is treated. While Audrey Hepburn and Humphrey Bogart did capture our hearts in 1954 Sabrina, we had to give the number 10 spot to this other Hepburn classic. For its witty dialogue, memorable songs, and beautiful setting in early 1900s Edwardian London. Now once again, where does it rain? On the plain. The movie quickly introduces us to Eliza Doolittle, a poor flower seller who runs into the haughty professor Henry Higgins, played by Rex Harrison. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. What begins as a wager to turn her into a proper lady begins blossoming into something else in this eight-time Academy Award-winning musical, where Eliza must choose between a charming young man and the older professor that changes her life. I could have danced all night. I could have danced all night. Number nine, The Graduate. What are you so scared of? I'm not scared, Mrs. Robinson. And why do you keep running away? In the critically acclaimed comedy drama based on the romance novel of the same name, a young Dustin Hoffman plays Benjamin Braddock, a board college graduate that quickly finds something to do after meeting the older, seductive Mrs. Robinson, played by Anne Bancroft. Would you like me to seduce you? What? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I'm going home now. Matters are complicated when Benjamin discovers that Mrs. Robinson's daughter Elaine is the girl he's been waiting for his entire life. Chronicling the pursuit of the younger Ms. Robinson by Hoffman's lovelorn graduate, the captivating performances and climactic wedding crashing scene make this a memorable romantic flick that inspired generations of filmmakers and lovers to come. <laughs> Number 8, Brief Encounter. I love you. I love you. You love me too. It's no use pretending it hasn't happened. This could be called the mother, or should we say mistress, of all movies about extramarital love affairs. Disillusioned housewife Laura Jessen goes about business as usual until she has a run-in with a helpful married doctor in an encounter that leaves both wanting more. The movie captures the intensity and emotions of a couple who must decide between consummating what has begun as a passionate emotional affair and a return to their normal routines, leaving all recollection of their love behind. It's been so very nice. I've enjoyed my afternoon enormously. I'm so glad. So have I. The black and white setting, the backdrop of a train station, and the feelings as portrayed by Trevor Howard and Celia Johnson all lead to a film that captures love with all its pleasures and pains. I love you with all my heart and soul. I want to die. Number 7, Dr. Zhivago. Wouldn't it have been lovely if we'd met before? Before we did. Yes. Take exotic actor Omar Sharif, Add blonde bombshell Julie Christie and throw in the tumultuous war-torn Soviet Union and you've got this Academy Award-winning box office smashing epic. Starring Sharif as a mild-mannered doctor and poet who meets and falls in with a battlefield nurse during the February Revolution of 1917, the story follows the two as they come together and fall apart multiple times over the course of many years. Where's Katya now? It's cool. Graced with beautiful art direction, emotionally charged performances, and a haunting soundtrack, this romantic drama keeps you reaching for the Kleenex as it dances on the fine line between love, devotion, and tragedy. What are we going to do? I don't know. Number 6, Breakfast at Tiffany's. I love you. You belong to me. No. People don't belong to people. In one of her most unforgettable roles, Audrey Hepburn here plays the extroverted New York socialite Holly Golightly who struggles with the memories of a difficult childhood, but doesn't let it stop her from dreaming big. Sally, darling, please stop you making me blush. It doesn't take her long to meet Paul Varjak, played by George Peppard, an unaccomplished writer with some demons of his own. Directed by comedy legend Blake Edwards and enhanced by lively dialogue and a beautiful score, 
Especially with the Oscar-winning original song Moon River, the film chronicles the highs and lows of a relationship that'll pull at your heartstrings. Only promise me one thing, don't take me home until I'm drunk. Until I'm very drunk indeed. Number 5, Roman Holiday. Is this the elevator? It's my room. In the film that won her an Oscar and garnered her international fame, Audrey Hepburn here plays Anne, a bored crown princess who decides to leave off her touring duties by escaping her embassy. I've never been alone with a man before, even with my dress on. With my dress off, it's most unusual. Cue the introduction of the always dashing Gregory Peck playing news reporter Joe Bradley, who quickly realizes her true identity. Although initially excited to do an exclusive interview, on which he has riding money and recognition, a day in Rome with the princess begins to ignite unexpected feelings in both. Mr. Bradley, if you don't mind my saying so, I, I think you are a ringer. Will their love overcome what seems to be an insurmountable obstacle? Only time will tell with this romantic classic. I don't know how to say goodbye. I can't think of any words. Number four, West Side Story. Maria, I've just met a girl named Maria. Take William Shakespeare's romantic tragedy, Romeo and Juliet, add some dangerously catchy music, place it against the backdrop of Manhattan's West Side, and you've got this Oscar winning musical. Tonight, tonight, it all began tonight. I saw you and the world went Tony and Maria, the film's star-crossed lovers, are played by Richard Boehmer and Natalie Wood in performances that capture the affections and obsessions of young love, despite having divided loyalties and being attached to rival gangs. Not thinking I'm someone else. I know you are not. The choreography and heartfelt lyrics of songs like Tonight and Somewhere will be sure to stir the cockles of your heart upon viewing this beautifully filmed romantic drama. I cannot stay. Go quickly. I'm not afraid. Please. Number three. The Philadelphia Story. The time to make up your mind about people is never. Nominated for six Oscars and usually ranked as one of the best movies of all time, this Broadway-based comedy is a must-see for all fans of classic romances. The film stars Katherine Hepburn as a feisty socialite who finds herself in, not in a love triangle, but a love quadrilateral. Stuck between her ex-husband, played by Cary Grant, a tabloid journalist played by James Stewart, and the man she's due to marry, played by John Howard. Oh, it's grand, Tracy. It's what everybody feels about you. It's what I first worshipped you for. The dialogue is quick, the performances are sharp, and the cute factor runs high in this film that'll make you go, aww. Tracy. What do you want? You're wonderful. Number two, Singing in the Rain. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. Although this classic musical spends much of its running time showcasing the transition a few actors must take going from silent to talking pictures, the romance between film star Don Lockwood and humble chorus girl Kathy Selden, played by Gene Kelly and Debbie Reynolds, adds the perfect spice to this film. The angels must have sent you. After jumping into Kathy's life, literally, the smitten actor must work to make the talented but stubborn dancer fall in love with him and then work to make her dreams come true. Warm, funny, and lively, the movie's comedy, music, and dance numbers make this a great date movie. Good night, Kathy. See you tomorrow. Good night, Don. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Could I take another crack at it? All right, if you insist. Did you hear what I said, Miss Kubelik? I absolutely adore you. Shut up and deal. The reason I didn't let you kiss me was because I just didn't know how to handle the situation. Number one, Casablanca. Kiss me. Kiss me for the last time. Was there ever any doubt? Showcasing the potential a film has to profoundly impact its audience, this romantic drama is still just as powerful and moving today as the year it came out. The film stars Humphrey Bogart as Rick Blaine, a cynical nightclub owner in Morocco during the Second World War who tries to put his tragic past behind him before Ingrid Bergman's Ilsa Lund walks back into his life. 
of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she walks into mine. The two former lovers are forced to confront their unresolved issues and passion for each other. And the result is a cinematic masterpiece and a romance for the ages. Is that can on fire? Or is it my heart pounding? Do you agree with our list? Which romances of the 1940s, 50s, and 60s stirred the cockles of your heart? Esther, will you? Will you, Esther? Of course I will, John. For more enchanting Top Tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo.